Well, you, you know, um, files can be forwarded by any investigating uh, body. Uh, once once that happens, uh, we, we look at the file and review them. Because our work is to review and ensure that there is evidence. And, I, and I've said this many times that it is it is a the way the system has been designed by the Constitution is that you have several layers of uh, CV. Uh, you have the accused person who comes and says uh, something has been done. Uh, you just cannot take that to his word. That's why you have investigators. The investigators go and investigate, prepare the file, and then bring it to the prosecutor. The prosecutors will also just not take the word of the investigator. They will review the file, and if there is evidence, they will present it to court. The court will not just take the word of the prosecutor and agree that there is evidence. They will have to hear, they will have to be taken through the evidence, and then conclude that there is enough evidence to convict the, convict the person. So it is a process where we feel that there is no evidence. We cannot uh, forward uh, the file to court. We will have to return it to the police uh, or the investigators or the ESCC, whoever it is, so that they go and cover. Or if the evidence is not there, then it rests there. Um, so you cannot say that we are, we do not we are not dealing with the files. The files are being dealt with every day. They have different outcomes. Some of the outcomes it would be close the file, there's no evidence to proceed with this. Some of it we said the threshold is not enough. Mm -hmm. This is an administrative issue. Go and deal with it at a human resource level or recover whatever it is. Uh, and some of them will say, yes, there is evidence, we will go to court. Some of them will say, we can see that there is evidence, but you need to do the following for us to be able to prove beyond the reasonable doubt. We will go to court. This is not a, these are not civil matters where it is, a, it's a, it is on a balance of probability. We must be able to prove beyond reasonable doubt that somebody has committed an offense. With the Kemsa case, uh, there is a lot that needs to be done. Uh, uh, the investigations, uh, in our opinion, are not completely uh, finished. But we are working together with ESCC to ensure that uh, and their teams to ensure that uh, we're able to bring uh, uh, a case that has uh, you know, evidence to convict uh, individuals involved. Yeah. It will take time, but uh, at the end of it, we present it. If you look at, uh, for example, the, the, the dam case, it took us almost uh, one and a half to two years before we could bring the matter to court. Because of the complexity, uh, it has a lot of documentations. There's, there's a lot of what we call the mutual legal assistance. You know, other countries have to help us uh, to compile the evidence. That takes time. Mm -hmm. We just have to be patient. Mm -hmm.